the terrible secret of the Leningrad swamps. In the deep forest north of St. Petersburg, naked corpses of people without signs of violent death are found every year. The police are at a loss. Since with evil spirits, KP correspondents went to the lost place. Andrei Moisienko. The Vetskaya upland seems to be located in the European part of Russia, between St. Petersburg and Murmansk, but in terms of population density it is one of the most sparsely populated areas in the country. Swamps for thousands of square kilometers. According to official statistics, up to 10 people disappear here every year. But these places are popular among tourists. If you know where to go, the fishing and hunting here are wonderful. For almost 20 years in a row, St. Petersburg resident Alexander Klokov and his friends went hunting in this wilderness in the spring. The men set off this year too, in April. The company is solid and seasoned three large managers of St. Petersburg Enterprises, a writer, an FSB pensioner, a retired army colonel. VIP tourists arrive for a cultural relaxation. Some people want to hunt, some people want to catch fish. Others just want to take a walk through the forest with a video camera, or sit by the fire in the evening. According to the testimony of witnesses, on the third day, Alexander Klokov did not return in the evening to the hunting hut, where all the members of the company lived. Klokov was an experienced hunter, and the witnesses were not particularly worried about him, deciding that he would spend the night in the forest and would appear in the morning. When he did not come the next day, Witnesses organized a search. Another day later, they received an appeal via satellite phone to the Kapshinsky Police Department. From the criminal case initiated on the disappearance of A.P. Klokov. The sect bought up a village and founded the Russian Kingdom in it. People sold their homes and abandoned their children, succumbing to the teachings of the last emperor Foto. A dozen and a half people searched for Klokov for seven days. They lined up at intervals of 10 meters and combed the taiga, swamps, and spruce-covered fields of a local village that had been deserted in Soviet times. The missing man was found in a ravine, five kilometers from the hut where the tourists were staying. They found the body and were dumbfounded. The man was completely naked. Nearby on a tree stump are neatly folded pads and a shirt. No shoes. Jackets too. A loaded carbine is leaning against a tree. The cause of death has not been established. Why the deceased undressed before his death is a mystery to investigators. During the eight to nine days that Klokov lay in the taiga, his corpse was largely gnawed by wolves. But the examination showed that the body was indeed Klokov. The relatives also identified the sweatpants and shirt. They could not determine the exact cause of death, either his heart stopped or he died from hypothermia, or maybe both. But why undress? Klokov decided to take a swim, at a temperature of plus five degrees. And there was no water nearby. It was as if someone was luring him into the forest. While the police were dealing with the mysterious case, the May holidays arrived with long-awaited multi-day weekends. Residents of St. Petersburg rushed and massed to nature. And about 30 kilometers from the place where Klokov died, there died, a company of fishermen settled. They are also experienced people. Five men aged from 32 to 47 years. The head of the Kapshinsky Police Department, Anatoly Boitsev, says. In the evening the company sat near the fire. 35-year-old Mikhail Isaev stood up abruptly and, without saying anything, quickly walked away from the lake towards the forest. They called out to him, but he had already disappeared into the darkness. Well, okay, we thought, the guy needs to go to the toilet. After about an hour we became worried. They shouted. We went to the village nearby, it is also uninhabited. Only summer residents come on weekends, but there is no guy. The next day we looked for him on our own. And it seems they found it. One of Isaac's comrades claims that he saw him from afar. He started shouting and calling, but Isarev looked back into the forest, as if he were being beckoned from there, and ran away again. Only in the evening of the next day did the fisherman contact us. Again, we had to comb the area. But this time it was unsuccessful. 
The body was found by a local hunter two months later. The bear ate the body, but experts concluded that the predator had already snapped on carrion. As in the case of Klokov, the dead man was naked. Even the shoes and socks were gone. The police specifically searched the area for Isaac's clothes. But nothing was found. I collected dirt and ate with my hands. And another emergency. This time they found the naked corpse of a local resident. A 30-year-old lumberjack from a Russian-Swedish joint venture went home to the village in the evening after his shift. They came across the body in the morning, 200 meters from the cabin, in a forest road run. Jumpsuit, boots. Shirts are scattered over a long distance. It was as if the guy was running, taking off his clothes as he went. Moreover, it looked like he had already gone far, but for some unknown reason he decided to return. No alcohol or traces of drugs were found in the blood. And death came from strangulation. The lumberjack's mouth, nose, and throat were clogged with liquid road mud. There was dirt under my nails too. The protocol contains the following words from eyewitnesses. It seemed that he was picking the ground and eating dirt with his hands. They thought it was getting hot. The local sheriff, the already mentioned head of the Kapshinsky Police Department, Anatoly Alexandrovich Boitsev, a native local resident, Deption by nationality, understands the unreality of what is happening best of all. In our forest, people don't just take off their clothes. You don't look particularly naked, you'll tear your whole body apart with branches. Yes, and mosquitoes and midges will bite you. It seems that this is not a crime after all. I got the impression that the victims went crazy before they died. It seemed to them that it was getting hot. They obviously tore off their clothes themselves. But I don't understand what the reason is. I can admit that the city people were confused in the forest and panicked. But for the locals to die so strangely, they say that some hallucinogenic mushrooms grow near St. Petersburg, a favorite delicacy for drug addicts. Maybe we couldn't do without them here too. Nonsense. Our people specialize in vodka. In addition, the corpses were taken to Tikbin for examination. By the way, here's another case. Last fall, a 60-year-old primary school teacher in our village died. Didn't come to school this morning. They started looking. Found on the same day behind the village in a swamp. It was clear that she was coming from the direction of the forest. She left the path she had found, as if someone was calling again, forded a stream, sat down in the moss and died. There are no shoes either, traces of bare feet in the stream. There is a gold ring on her finger and a chain on her neck. An elderly, respected teacher. Do you think she also swallowed drug-addicted mushrooms? But by mistake she couldn't eat them, after all, she was local. Boitz have reported unusual cases to the Tikbin District Police Department and the local prosecutor's office. Since there were no obvious signs of a crime, the cases were closed. The actions of the rural sheriff combing the forest, working with witnesses, drawing up protocols, were recognized as competent. Moreover, such incidents occurred not only on the territory of the Kapshinsky police station, but also in other places in this area. This was definitely stated by one of the oldest employees of the local prosecutor's office, who asked that his name not be used. Boitsev also mentioned the same thing. I have been working in the local police since 1988, says the policeman. I vaguely remember that there were some conversations about such deaths. And so it turned out. True, not only in my area, but also in the surrounding area, 16 cases of naked corpses have been documented. Another one and a half to two dozen cases are under suspicion. 1993 in the fall, the corpse of a sawmill guard is discovered. The corpse is naked. Clothes are nearby, thrown off in a heap. The buttons from the shirt flew to the sides, as if the man was taking it off in a hurry without fully unbuttoning it. Experts did not establish the cause of death, they explained that his heart was acting up. In the late 1990s, there were two emergency situations within a month. The locals went out to pick berries and never returned. 
Once again, autopsies showed that there were no signs of violent death, and the alcohol content was minimal. Year 2001. Two locals went to the swamps in the fall to pick cranberries. We separated. One did not return. Two days later the body was found. The berries are scattered. Clothes are folded in a basket. That same year, at the end of October, the corpse of a mushroom picker and summer resident was found. I sat on a tree stump barefoot and dumped mushrooms out of a basket. He carefully placed his boots and socks next to him. The latest tragedy occurred in September of this year. Mushroom pickers found the body of a resident of one of the local villages, Alexander Prokhorov, 100 meters from the highway. As has become customary, in his underwear. Trousers and a sweater were lying nearby. The police had a version that he was hit by a car, and then the driver dragged the body into the forest. But the examination showed that the bones were not damaged. There are no signs of violent death. Mysterious details. Before building hypotheses, you need to collect all the information and try to analyze it. This is what we did with the help of Anatoly Boitsev. 1. There is no earlier information, the cases were not considered criminal and were not stored in the archives. But it is reliably known that since 1993, 16 naked or partially naked corpses without signs of violence have been found. And this is in an area with a population of only 5,000 people. In the summer, due to tourists and summer residents, another thousand and a half are added. Two old bodies were found in a small area with a radius of 50 kilometers. This is at Bear Corner, 300 km from St. Petersburg. Three of the 16 dead, only three were visitors from St. Petersburg. The rest are local. Four, two women died. The remaining men are from 25 to 60 years old. Five, the robbery version is excluded. Some of them had wallets in their clothes and jewelry on their bodies. Six all deaths occurred between April and October. In relatively warm weather. According to Boitsov, people disappear in these places even in winter. But at this time of year, corpses are found in classic positions for freezing. Before death, lost people wrap themselves in fur coats, sheepskin coats, no nudity. 7. Some people carefully remove their clothes and fold them. Others rip it off in a hurry. I think that scientists, not criminologists, should look for the answer, Boitsev finally told us, hesitating. There is a certain devilry in all these matters. But it would be better for you to talk about it with local residents, and not with a government representative. Excerpts from the Protocols of Strange Cases 1. The photo shows the place where the corpse of a watchman of one of the local sawmills was found without clothes. 2. About an elderly teacher whose body was discovered in a swamp last fall, the woman's boots and stockings were missing. How N.A. Maslova ended up in this area, I don't know. Knowing Maslova N.A. well, I completely exclude any violent actions against her. Testimony of a colleague of the deceased teacher at a rural school. 3. About a lumberjack from a Russian-Swedish joint venture who choked on mud, lies face down. Man's corpse. Appears to be 25 to 30 years old, head to the west. There are no clothes on the corpse. Direct speech. Head of precinct commissioners of the Tikvin District Internal Affairs Directorate, Evgeny Gerasimov. Every year we discover one or two naked corpses. The cause of death was hypothermia. But it is possible that there are many more similar cases, up to 10 people disappear in the taiga and swamps a year. It is not possible to find all the bodies. Maybe they drowned in the swamps or were killed by a bear. What if they are also lying naked somewhere? Hence in tomorrow's issue of KP, November 16th. At the request of the investigation, the names of some of the victims have been changed. Hey stalker. Hope you enjoyed the video. If I could trouble you, give a like and a sub, it really helps the cause. And since you're already here, why not watch the next video? Anyways, stay comfy. Cortisol is bad for you.